Hi. Welcome back to the game room. at all. <laughs> it would be the game room if there weren't technical issues, so keeping up with that. There were some technical issues tonight, and we have abandoned the group games because it turns out that we can only play two-player online. I'm sure that there's other ways to do it, but this is what we're going to do, play two players online. So now we've started a game to make sure it's going. Again, this is Wingspan by Stonemeyer Games, a very fun little tableau builder. Um, and I am playing with Luna. I have uh, These are the three habitats that the birds survive in. This is the trees, this is the grass, and this is the water. You play the birds in these columns, and you'll notice that you can also do these actions, which get more powerful if you have birds there. The brown abilities, which Luna was just asking about, are the birds' abilities. They get to do cool little things when you activate that row. Uh, I'll show you now. So, on my row, I'm going to gain food. Now there is food to choose from that is down here on the from the bird feeder. So let's just take some mice. And if you can hear that little mouse sound, that's pretty cool. The game does do that. Now I'm going to look at a card from the deck. I am now activating the previous bird that I played brown ability, which is look at a card from the deck. If it is under 75 centimeters, tuck it beneath this bird, if not discarded. My Cooper's Hawk is hunting birds. Let's see. Yeah, it's a big bird, so I am not going to hunt and kill that bird, so we're going to move on, and that is my turn. Luna, does that make sense with the whole brown power thing? Yes, it does. Awesome. So now, Jessica and Brandon are starting their own game over there, and the winner of that game and the winner of this game... If we have time, and if no. oh, we have like a little time. <laughs> no. no, yeah, no, yeah, yeah, I think no is appropriate. Brandon is hoping to not win, so that's gonna give you a good. I can't pick my cards. <laughs> you can't pick your cards. No, I can pick all resources. <laughs> so that's what I'm gonna do to pick up the I can only pick. Resources. So I have no cards to start the game. I think there is still some bugs to work out on the online option in Wingspan. Just a thought. Just a thought. Uh, you know, if this game was on Board Game Arena, it would work I am. for it would flawlessly. Just throwing that out there. Board Game Arena never. <laughs> oh no! I can't pick. You just threw shade right at Discord. I did. Or, or at Steam, I think. Or, or Steam, Steam, that too. Oh, I fixed it. I fixed I, it. I was just feeling, I was feeling hard feeling to Discord. <laughs> I, was, I was projecting. Yeah. Um, I have other so problems. Played... Oh, go ahead, Luna. What's up? I played a bird. Okay. But you can only play one bird per turn, I think? Or maybe you can only play one per habitat? Like, you have to stay in the same habitat? Um... You well, yeah. You can only play uh, one bird per turn. There are certain birds that will let you play another bird, but 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 bird 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 birds the word. You can do that, but only one bird, bird technically on your turn. I was that joke was there lined okay. up to go, and I guess went. And I don't need to worry about like. Are you looking to? Are you looking to play the pie um, build greeby? Is that what you're looking at? Um, I was gonna play the American. Test rule that I have, but I don't think I can because I think I already actually did the other one. Hmm. Yeah, I see um, the, I see the so, fight build. I, think I skip the next button. I'm gonna skip the rest of my turn. Cool. All right, it's my turn now. Uh, let's see. Oh, is that my bird? Oh, that's right. I can't see your hand. That makes perfect sense. So I'm going to go ahead and play my Pied Bill Greeby, which when activated lets me draw two if I discard one hand at the end of my turn. Excuse me. Hey Brandon, are you able to draw any cards or do I was able to actually draw cards. Pied Bill Grebe. Pied Bill oh. Greaves create a floating platform yep. nest with plant material. 
If you can hear that at home, the, trick the is board game be does on do the that. Bottom game board. The bottom game board? You can click on it and it'll. What just happened? If you click on the bottom game board, <laughs> it gives you like a quick little bird's eye view, for lack of a better word, of what you've done thus far. <laughs> the tricky part is getting out of that bird's eye view. And that's what, there's a bug there at startup. There is? It also does tell you what your opponents play there's on their turn. There's a bug on, uh, at startup. If you're on the bird's eye view, then you cannot select bird's cards. But when I scrolled up to the habitat views, and I can take my bird cards. Oh, yeah. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Okay. That makes Which sense. Which makes sense, because I've only ever seen it on the... But I was able to pick all five resources and almost not pick any cards. <laughs> Which would have been a very interesting way to start the game. <laughs> what you're telling me is you have a lot of... Food food right now. Yeah. I'm a little envious of that. <laughs> I am gonna do my cool ability. And oh, by the way, so this round goal that we have here is birds with eggs on them. I do not have any birds that fit that criteria, I believe. Either way, though, it wants me to draw a card, so I will. Neither do I. You don't have it either, huh? No. That's what we need to get points in this game. Draw two cards if you do. Oh wait, sorry. Um, I meant, I meant I have a ton of them, so I'm gonna win. <laughs> there you go. I like. Oh, that. you took all the food from the bird feeder. Now I must discard. Yes, she jacked all the good stuff from the bird feeder. Oh, this is a little tip about Brandon. By the way, Brandon, Jessica, and Luna, my friends, are playing on here. They were playing on the last stream, but Wingspan wasn't letting us all play together because it's like that now. Um, but these are my friends. They're very cool people. Um, and Brandon is suggesting that Jessica stole all the food. Having played with Brandon before, I can tell you that's probably yep. not true. But he will accuse you of that, no matter what game you're playing. Absolutely not true. That's, that's exactly how he plays. I will accuse you of screwing me over every time. Yes. And I never have, ever, screwed you over in any game. I can't just... Oh, you... That's so dumb. <laughs> oh, well, screwed that turn up. Yeah, these we're just playing this <laughs> game to work. show the people at home how to play, but I'm not looking. I, I don't, I'm not going to win anything. I'm not going to do anything with this game. I'm not getting any points. not doing anything. Oh, my turn. All right. We're showing you mechanics. <laughs> not strategy. <laughs> No, that's a different pot. That's a different screen. Wing. If you want to learn how to play this game and win, that's someone else's job. Uh, let's see. I do have <laughs> enough for this. Luna, I'm sorry. I missed what you said. I asked if I, t if I took the, the, the good bird, and then I realized that, like, we don't have the same bird option. I couldn't have stolen it from you. <laughs> you can steal from Bond. It's not from me. I'm not going to get upset at you tonight. It's okay. <laughs> <laughs> you gained food. Okay, so I feel like maybe I should be taking food too. I would. Um, I think so. Because I don't think. Do you I any... honestly have absolutely no idea of how to play this game. I would say get the food I... you need to play the bird that you want to play. Yes. That's number one objective. Everything else can go get later. The get the food you need to play a bird in the food habitat so you can get better food. Or that's, food. Um, that's one way to do it, too. How do you even actually pick up food, though? Yeah, so, so the, you want to scroll the to the very... Habitat. Yes, the green habitat. The trees. If you're looking yeah. on the left-hand side, you want to click on that, that second, the top one, I guess it mm -hmm. looks like trees. You can click on the habitat yeah, and there. go straight there. Cool. Now, if you click on the... Because I can see that you have a red-eyed Vero. If you click just to the right of that, it should be a white square with a like a dice in the middle. Does that yeah. make sense? Okay. You click on that, and yes. then it's going to give you the option Okay, of, so now I know how to get food. I know how to play a bird. 
Yeah, there you go. Yeah. Now I just have to figure out how to how to lay how to lay eggs on birds. Oh, that's the next bottom row. That's the grass. That's the um, the orange habitat. Grass with three legs. Okay. Mm -hmm. Grass with three leaves. Is that kind of things. Or is that like yellow? Uh, oh, I still don't yeah. have enough for this bird. Crikey, that didn't work at all. That's a really bad start. <laughs> Sweet. That's what I wanted. I got grains. I played this game a lot. So I, I played just before the stream, and I never took food once. <laughs> wow. That is. And you still. Well. That is the goal. Yeah. I mean, if you can play, especially if you play cards that let you gain food. Yep. I, I got down. If you didn't catch it, I get uh, discard one. I think this card is broken, by the way. Discard one egg to get two food of my choice from the supply. That's and not it goes bad. In the egg laying option. Yeah, it's not bad. It's just that you have to. I do not. I discard one egg. Oh, it's the other way. Oh, I heard it the other way around. From another bird. From another. From not your own. From one of one of my other birds. Yeah. Oh, Actually, gotcha. one of mine. Yeah. And I would have used it, but I didn't have another bird down until now. <laughs> well, it makes you feel better, Brandon. I have a Cooper's hawk, and I've hunted three times and have been unsuccessful each time. So go figure. I mean, it is you pulling the cards. Hey. So. Yeah, right here. Okay, so I accidentally selected discard a food to lay another egg, but I don't actually want to do that, and I can't figure out how to get out of that. Oh, so do it, so and then discard a food. Back. there's an option. There's a back yeah. arrow on the bottom side. Yeah. Lower left. On the lower okay, left. Okay. If it's not there, then do the action, cool. and then you can back out. Okay. I didn't even look at what, cool. the, what the bonuses were. Cool. Oh, I 100% have not looked at a single bonus for what my... <laughs> I just on, on which ones are pretty. And which ones I recognize. <laughs> um, um, and ding. And because um, I do... On the West Coast, they have the Swift Watch, which, like... Because Vox's Swifts travel... From all the way from Canada all the way down into South America, Common and so winter, like where I live, there's like where we can go and see them like gather in this chimney where they sleep at night for their migration. And a Cooper's hawk was sitting there and just like picking them off as they went into the chimney to sleep. Whoa! So like, it was really cool. Oh, yeah, you like this telescope. See a hawk hunting. Yeah, it was awesome. That's that this guy right here. Awesome. Yeah, <laughs> it was super cool. Because um, <laughs> it's like these these birds. And they just swirl in the sky. There's thousands of them. And they all, like, go to sleep in the same spot. And this Cooper Hawk was just sitting there like, here's dinner. <laughs> like, <laughs> he, he was having a ball. And delivery. Yeah, yeah Postmates. There's a hawk so. also that kind of hangs out outside my back window. And he'll, because I have a couple bird feeders up outside, but I've got my inside birds. And sometimes my inside birds go outside. They don't, they're, most of them aren't flighted, so they, they do okay. Well, one of them is flighted, and she got away. And a hawk almost got her. That's <laughs> terrifying. It's very difficult for me. <laughs> I am glad your bird was not eaten by a hawk. <laughs> it is very different than like that's not the that's not the kind of circle of life that we're hoping to see. <laughs> <laughs> this is way anticlimactic, but my best bird story is being in San Diego and seeing uh, what seemed like a parrot's a habitat escaping from somebody's house and they were just in this alley like 30 <laughs> parrots what like holy it was, socks it, like the whole it was rock. what do you mean yeah, anticlimactic like out of a... <laughs> 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 i don't know compared to hawk 30 hunting, parrots a hawk, hawk hunting to me was a lot more cool than like seeing a bunch of parrots just flying around in an alleyway well like i don't know not not expecting to see parrots and stumbling upon them i would be impressed that is sound, that does sound pretty cool to me. Yeah, that's just like a couple people. Yeah. I would just be like, is this really happening? It's like an Alfred Hitchcock movie. Like, you just turn a corner and you're like, oh, hey, parrots. The hell? Yeah. 
it, it was kind of scary. I was like, you ever see those like uh, bird, like when animals go nuts and like they just start attacking shit? That, yeah. that was going through my head the whole time. I'm like, we're gonna get mauled by parrots. <laughs> uh, getting the notification, just EC has laid eggs. That was pretty great. That was just like, <laughs> right on. <laughs> Like, I know it's showing you what, what you did on your turn, but I was just like, oh, okay. I didn't know you could Go do for that. It. Fonda. I mean, it's a lot like a Zoom call for work. You can't see me from the waist down. I could be, you know, doing anything. I could be laying eggs right now. You wouldn't know. You have no idea. <laughs> I would be suitably impressed, I feel. <laughs> so I do have one gripe with this interface. Yes. And it's that I can't see what anyone else is doing easily. Easily? No. No. You have to click on their picture. It takes you to what they're doing. Um, I do see yeah. that Luna has an American Kestrel. Kestrel? Looks like another hawk. Kestrel. Kestrel. Oh. Whoa. Wait. Do you have a Cooper's Hawk too, as well? Wait. No. So our round one is over, and... Oh, round one's over. I Did I place four? Nice done. Yeah, how did I place fourth out of two people? <laughs> <laughs> you didn't have anything. You did not oh. achieve the goal at all. So you would place fourth last. No, no, you got four points. You didn't. You got first. Oh. Yes. Oh, you got, got four first, points. First. Okay. Yeah. Yes. That's what I that know meant. what's happening. <laughs> I know what's happening. You are playing. <laughs> did the Kestrel give me points? Uh, I think so. Let me the see. The Kestrel is really cool. <laughs> the cool. no, it wasn't the Kestrel. Oh, the other one I, other one I saw that I got really excited about. Yeah, because it, it it said Cal, it had a California condor, and um, I have like obsessively followed the Oregon Zoo's uh, um breeding program for California condors to get them off the endangered species list. Is just really cool. There's lots of videos online, and hmm. I went to the zoo once there, and I got to see like the condors at the zoo, and I'm just really obsessed with condors because they are gigantic. Mm -hmm. um, they're the closest that we can really get to dinosaurs besides alligators, which are also super cool. But um, in my opinion, that's probably not scientific fact. <laughs> <laughs> and they're just they're just really <laughs> neat. Don't 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 come to me for scientific facts. On, on birds. Just <laughs> just ridiculous levels of bird excitement. <laughs> now I think you got it because you have an egg on a on a wild nest. Um, the stars, when the nest icon is a star, oh, that means okay. it's wild. It counts for everything. So I made a smart decision at some point. You did make it. And that was the first bird you played. So good job. You did good. I didn't even mean to play that one. I was actually disappointed because I was like, oh, I was trying to play the Kestrel and I couldn't figure out how to go back. <laughs> well, just so you know, okay. your new goal in this round is to have more birds than me. And at the moment, we both have three birds. Oh, okay. What was that, Brandon? Oh, I'm sorry. Okay, well. Do you have trouble We're gonna like, fight about it? You guys have trouble reading the cards in your hand. Like I can't. If I if like, I hover I my mouse over it, then it pops up so I can see it better. Oh, yeah, but so but... the the placement of the mouse to pull up a single card up is oh, like yes. throwing me off because I'm like oh. trying to look at a particular card and it's not letting me do what I want. To do. I have almost no cards in my hand, so that's probably why it's easy for me. That makes sense. Yeah. No, Brandon, your complaint Spoiler is. Alert, my first round was probably going to be my best one. Your, your complaint is accurate. Um, if you have a lot of cards in your hand and you try to kind of cycle through them to see what you have, you have to like scroll your mouse over very slowly. It's really hard. Yeah, because it's just like, it just yeah. skips all kinds of cards when you don't do that. Uh, let's see. Right. I'm not getting any of the cards I want right now. Not a single one. Fine. You go away. I drank too much whiskey. Uh oh, what's happening? Did you say you drank too much whiskey? <laughs> I yeah. just gotta go to the bathroom, that's all. <laughs> oh, did I not? <laughs> 
You can drink all the whiskey you want now. Yeah, it's on camera, right? Like, on the stream? <laughs> no. <laughs> no. The game rate does not condone urination in public. I didn't say urination in public. I said the pee pee dance. Those are two oh, different wait. things. Those are the pee pee okay. dance, yes. I got a, I got a right now is a really good time for intermission for Team Jessica and Brandon. Yeah, Team Alcoholics. <laughs> going to use the bathroom. <laughs> right on, guys. And get more liquor. <laughs> you are excused. We'll be back. <laughs> Let me change my lighting in my room. It automatically changes at 9 p.m. and I forgot to change that, so now I'm all. Oh yeah, I can see you. Mode. It's just kind of well, I see specifically like specifically my light changed to cozy. Oh. There we go. Oh, I have a smart light bulb, so uh -huh. I have an app on my phone. Oh, that's just a white light screen. That's yeah. completely useless. But I believe I, like, I believe okay, they have an app. Go with relax or cozy. <laughs> Thank I've you actually, for believing me. I'm, I'm so glad that my... I believe, yes. That was believable. Thank don't, you ever, for don't ever make me play a game where we have to live because <laughs> everyone will immediately see through me. I actually love social deduction <laughs> games. I'm a big fan of them. Oh, I love them. I'm just absolute garbage at them. Um, like that's not going to be something that pans out well. Okay. Let's see here. I'm gonna go for some food. I want to play a bird, but it's not and letting me. Come here. Oh, so this is on your turn. I don't yes. even know what I'm doing. I've actually been thinking about getting a smart light bulb just so that way I could read and um, not have to worry about the light turning it's... off. Oh, does the light turn off in your room? I mean, I have to physically, like, you know, roll over and hit oh, the switch. Oh, like to get up and turn it off? Yeah. I don't have to get out of bed, but I have to like, mm -hmm. you know, manually do it, manually turn off a light. Oh, it's so annoying. I would just, like, if I'm reading, I would just like to kind of pass okay. out and then just have the light turn off because it knows I'm asleep. And I don't think it's too much to ask. Mm -hmm. Um, I, uh, got these because the little knob on my light, it's an antique. Uh -huh. So it's really hard to turn. But I didn't want to get rid of the antique light because it's really pretty. <laughs> um, and my dog has a tendency to sleep on me. So then he's like dead asleep. And you know the law of like if an animal is sleeping on you, you have to stay there. Like you have to die there before you move because they're sleeping. Um, you cannot disturb them. And so then I'm just like this light is shining in my eyes. I can't go to sleep. Like <laughs> I can't move him. Like so I just got to stay up until he moves. Um <laughs> Yeah, I am. I am not aware of this rule, but now I am. I thought I've been at an animal, yeah. like since I was a kid. So that might be it. Um, Jessica, would you back me up here? Isn't yes. it like a law that if if an animal, like a dog or a cat or something, is sleeping on you, you cannot move? Like you can't move. You you have to stay. I'm yeah. Stuck. See. Yeah. <laughs> So that's why I had to get a smart light bulb because my dog sleeps in my lap, and then I'm like, I can't turn off, I can't get up to turn off the light. So I know exactly. as long as we know that that's I told you. your rule. 100%. <laughs> I knew exactly what I was going to do this turn, and now I don't. Oh no! After going to the bathroom, I forgot. Osprey. Ospreys are excellent <laughs> cool. hunters, catching a fish right, in at least this. one out Wing of every it. four dives. <laughs> <laughs> I see what you did there. I felt quite clever, thank you. I was expecting more puns. This is uh, uh this is pretty I... tame. I've been trying I to keep myself really... under control. <laughs> <laughs> oh, please continue. Please, please, please let yourself go. We're. Um, I mean, that was just me trying to make up for the fact that's probably the only pun I'll be able to come up with on the fly. <laughs> <laughs> on the fly, that actually works. Yeah, that works. Wow. Again. Oh. See, you're full of them tonight. <laughs> Bye. Yes. Okay. Want a uh, pun tracker on this. Just like right. a pun tracker. Of our faces. Got yeah. it. Got it. I moved my whiteboard, but normally I can just like whip a whiteboard and be like, whoop. There we go. One for Luna. Um. I think you need to go get that and. <laughs> it's all the way over there, though. Like, no, it's it's okay. Really I can. For me. I can keep uh, count of the flock. Oh, never mind. I'm really bad with puns. 
fail. That was too hard. They tried too hard. Yeah, I think I'll take points away from me on that one. I really was trying. Bond is, <laughs> Bond is never going to invite us back to his stream. Are you kidding me? This is the best stream so far. points from Gryffindor, and I'm offended. <laughs> I'm clearly a Ravenclaw. <laughs> Obviously. <laughs> me too. I have never watched Harry Potter, so I have no oh, idea. Oh, get out. What? Um, watched. He huh. said watched, so there's that. Yeah. Uh, how have you never yeah. seen Harry oh, Potter? I definitely haven't read Harry Potter. You see those books back there? All those books? You know, that, that's why I was like, I'm clearly a Ravenclaw, because that's, that's the nerdy house. That is like... the nerdy house. All those books back there, those are, those are things that I don't own in my home. He's definitely Gryffindor. Oh yeah, Brandon's Gryffindor, all the way. I don't know. I don't know. I could I could accept arguments for Gryffindor. Uh, he he's definitely been playing some like good planning in these games. So maybe a Slytherin, um, long term friend for EC. So that's some loyalty there. That that's could be Gryffindor. a Hufflepuff. Like he's oh, got she's, potential. She is teaching me so much about Harry Potter. <laughs> <laughs> I feel like Hufflepuff probably... though would have read the books, and Slytherin probably still would have read them. Yeah. I agree. I mean, never not necessarily. That I read books, to be fair, both Goyle and Crab would have never read a single one of those books. You never that know. Is well, a very yeah. Good point. In fact, quoting Malfoy, you can read. I didn't know you could read. <laughs> <laughs> you, you could read. <laughs> My favorite thing is that that was like an eleven-year-old kid who ad-libbed that line because he forgot what he was supposed to say. Really? And I just that was like, wow, that. A kid was like Tom, Tom Felton as an eleven-year-old. <laughs> yeah, it was ad-libbed. Um, I only know this because I, every time I have like a surgery or I'm super sick, I just like marathon the Harry Potter movies and then watch all the special like features and oh, everything. Like the background thing. It's like forty plus hours of content, <laughs> so I'm usually healthy by the time I finish. I absolutely, I love that. <laughs> <laughs> You're healthy by the time you finish. Yeah, cause it's. I mean, it started because when I was like in seventh grade, I got mono, and <laughs> I was too tired to like walk to the side of the house and get other DVDs or like get out and change the DVD. So I just watched Prisoner of Azkaban a lot. Um, oh man! And <laughs> so play. I just was like <laughs> two hours it later. Kind of became play. My <laughs> Oh, when it, I woke back up, oh, I think I only got to this part. <laughs> Restart. Uh, <laughs> Pretty much. <laughs> That's how that whole thing went. Is there a, like a extended edition of is the Harry Potter movies? Is there more than one habitat? Is there an advantage to putting it in one? There's like what? a special edition. Oh. Um, so and I have happened. it. Where it comes in this gigantic box. Okay. So it's a, it's yeah. a mess. I didn't know that existed. That's what I was wondering. Yeah. Um, to, but to answer your question, mm -hmm. yes, you can play birds uh, in a habitat that, that they're available to be played in, right? So you can have multiple birds in the same habitat, you know, up to five, I think, and then you're capped out. Is that what you're asking? Yeah. Um, I was just, this bird can go into multiple habitats, so I wasn't sure, like, how to tell, like, where it is it more advantageous to play it, I guess? It depends on your so strategy. it depends on what combo you're looking to do. Yeah. yeah. So what is, if if the bird will synergize better with, say, taking food or taking eggs or taking cards, you would want to try to put it in one of those areas. Or if you have birds lined up before it that may play off of whatever that thing does. I have no idea, like, <laughs> what this really means. Yeah. Um, Strategy so will be the other streaming. Mm. It's not. It's not a. Strategy is not a me problem. Um. <laughs> oh wow! I've never heard it. I never heard it that a, way. That's a someone else problem. That's a. That's strategy's not a, not a me problem. problem. <laughs> <laughs> I mostly play games with my brother, and he is like one of my brothers, and he's very like big on strategy. And, um, like, you give him a game and he will spend an hour to figure out how to break it. And I didn't play that bird 
I tried to, and instead I just took the food it needed from the feeder. So now I have twice as much food to play it, but I didn't successfully do it. And that's about how I am with the stretches. <laughs> okay. So I'm really prepared to play this bird now. Because that's my, <laughs> my, my third time. This is my third round trying to play this one bird. Oh, that's hilarious. You just have all this food. <laughs> I don't know. I have five worms now. Like, <laughs> don't need five worms. Well, there is so one thing that to keep to keep in note. The one one thing to keep in mind though is that you can use two food to substitute any one food that you don't have, right? So if you need rats. Yeah, so I'm gonna do that with with worms now. There you go. You stockpile the worms. You know. This is a little known fact, but you can actually make a pretty good money like breeding um, like different insects for, for food for people's pets. So maybe I'll just become a, a worm breeder, like, but specifically for wingspan. I actually oh, that's... follow a bunch of bird groups on Facebook, and I know some people that have started um, a mealworm farm because they didn't want to have to pay for mealworms anymore. Yeah. Um... So I work in wildlife rehab and we have like a full mealworm farm thing <laughs> because we don't have to pay for mealworms so we can like rescue animals. It's just more cost effective for us to raise the mealworms. Have you guys ever seen that show Portlandia? But also like the creepy feeling in your world. Was... Yeah, that's accurate. <laughs> yeah, I was like, this sounds a lot like an episode of Portlandia. <laughs> I mean... I mean... Right? Luna, are you in Portland too? I am in the vicinity. Fair. Um, I'm in Vancouver, officially, technically. Um, but like, yeah, I watched Portlandia, and I was just, like, my friend was like, "You gotta watch that. You're moving out there. Like, you're gonna be near there." And I was like, "Cool." And I watched it, and I was like, "This is too real. I can't watch this." <laughs> that was a great show. I, I wish I, didn't I sh like this. I'm in this picture. That what picture? What do you mean? Did I play? Um, oh. the Portlandia. She, oh. <laughs> she was a... in like Portlandia in that picture. It's a social media like you can complain about images. Never mind. On it... Facebook, yeah. On Facebook, you can report an image by saying like, "I don't like this photo because I'm in it." Oh right. Um, and people have started like using that as a response to memes whenever it's too applicable so just go say in portlandia is too applicable to to what we're talking about her so yeah she that's doesn't, her. she right. doesn't like it because she feels like she's in it it's well, calling her out well you can just put a bird um, on it oh i need that bird give me that bird i'm really excited because i have sorted i've sorted my birds um i have my songbirds in the forest <laughs> and i have three three birds of prey in the grasslands and a spotted sandpiper in the marsh. You know, I wonder if the abilities on those birds synergize because they know, like, the person who made this game obviously knows a lot about birds. Well, you should so never maybe... put a bunch of birds of prey in the same space because they hate each other. Oh, um, okay. Like, they, I mean, in my experience, they're always very vicious to each other because they're just like, no, no, I am top dog or whatever I'm, I'm gonna fight you and it gets a little intimidating um i'm very scared of birds of prey like i i appreciate them from afar every time i've had to go into an enclosure for one they're like you know go go scrub the perch so that the enclosure's clean and i'm like wearing all this gear so they claw me and then i'm like trying to scrub the perch and the, the bird won't move because it's like trying to stare me down like this is my space what are you doing here and i'm like i just have to clean this and they kind of like I'm gonna claw you, and I'm like, I just gotta clean the perch. Please leave me alone. Like wearing goggles, it's great. That's the expansion for Wingspan. It isn't. It's fine. <laughs> Never mind. <laughs> Never mind. Birds of prey enclosures. <laughs> I mean, it sounds pretty good, but I guess it wasn't funny. Yeah. So I'll take points off of me. <laughs> Ten points from Slytherin. Oh, EC's a Slytherin. Yeah, I'm Slytherin. I know I'm Ace. Know. I know I like I seem like a pretty nice guy, but no, I'm 
I think I'm more power hungry than uh, I let on. Oh, so the hey, round. Man, there's still nice people in, in Slytherin. <laughs> yeah, right. Professor Slughorn. He was Professor Slughorn was really great, and he was oh. very power hungry. So. And he was very power hungry. I didn't know Slughorn was Slytherin. He just wanted. Yes, but he collected people, and that's a little people. scary. <laughs> there's a kind of moral well, component actually, where he what got a little bit gray. Um, I mean, I'm kind of collecting you well, guys right now on the stream. We watched the Pensieve, and we saw his old memories. <laughs> I'm kind of collecting you guys. I am so guys. confused Winston's hawk, with all this Harry Potter chicks, talk. I'm like, I didn't know that birds, there was but somebody eat mostly insects. Eating, or like mm -hmm. collecting people. I thought I thought this was a it's kid's It's more show. like political, like like he's like, oh, I want to make this connection. I want to make this connection so I can like ask them for favors, kind of deal. He, and he's just a little, like he's just kind of politically sleazy. Yes, he's networking. Um, you he's played networking. a swan. Okay, I'm gonna go look Definitely at your not. thing because I want to be able to see this Swainson Hawk, which is very beautiful. It is beautiful and it's animated, and he's actually staring down the common grackle like they're about to go beak to beak. And you have, I didn't realize you had an osprey, and the osprey just has this like, like, bloody fish in its yeah, talons. Yeah. Like, yeah. I just. Yeah, do you the Osprey's appreciate working. the fact they just went all out? The so Osprey's you want to have working. eggs in grass now. That's our goal? Oh, yes. That is the goal. Um, I guess. It kind of blew past the last one. But you won that too. Wow, I'm getting beat up in this game. Oh, but I thought because you had the big red bar for yours. Uh, I mean, what is I'm, happening here? All players get... Uh, I have two points in that last one. Thank oh, you. You're welcome. I, I, that was on my That's my bonus pretty features. cool that you just gave me free resources. Holy crap! You beat the snot out of me. <laughs> <that one. laughs> so the boys are losing and the girls are winning I only this have game. Two. Oh, shit. <laughs> it's okay. I am very good at beginners' luck, where I will accidentally win, and then as soon as I start understanding the game. And attempting to strategize at all, I will lose constantly. If it makes you feel any better, Bond is very good at torpedoing his own wins. You know, oh, yeah. sorry, Bond. No, oh. it's it's very true. Like honestly, I win the game in the second round. <laughs> like if we just end the game in the second round, I win. But if we have to keep going to the very end of the game, then I lose. Game over. Yeah, I'm very good early on. But then I taper off because I feel like to me it's like pointless. Like I already, already did the thing I needed to do. I won. This, this is all just for ego at this point. And that's what I tell myself, anyways. <laughs> that's like you know when you're like running a race though, and you're like sprinting, you're like ahead of everybody else, and you're like, yeah, I've won, and then you just kind of stop running, but then everyone else makes it to the front. Of I mean, it's kind of like that's that. exactly what Bond does. <laughs> that's exactly. Exactly how he Actually, plays. you know what? That's literally, that's literally <laughs> what happens in Aesop's Fables. Like the 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 hare charges ahead, and he's like, "Oh, I'm so far ahead, I can lay down and take a nap, and it doesn't matter." And the tortoise just like plods past him and wins. That's so, fair. Yeah, I think that's not a, a terrible hare. way to do it. Yeah, you gotta be a tortoise. Gotta. Bond is definitely the hare. <laughs> no, I'm the hare. Look at his face right now. I don't like. I I, I don't. What are you? What are you talking about, Brandon? Look at my face. Talking about it. I don't look like a rabbit. What are you talking about? Someone offended by that. <laughs> you know, that's funny. I was thinking that was Bender's alter. What's Bender's alter ego's name? What's his? What's I that? On Futurama, mm -hmm. the Bender robot, and he's got the the nemesis that, and that's how. You, and it's a magnet, and it's a magnet. Um, <laughs> it's a magnet soul patch. <laughs> Do you know what Hang I'm on. I, hold on. Hold on. I want to share hold this on. with everybody. I want to share this with everybody. <laughs> hold on. <laughs> I, I don't know Futurama, but I just want to be sure you that... You have an Atlantic puffin and you haven't picked it. <laughs> I, was at bird. I was looking at EC's birds and he has an Atlantic puffin and he didn't pick it up. And like, this is a cry. It's so cute. It is really cute. Puppet. But why do you want? Why do you want me to pick it up? You can pick it up. 
I don't like you. Can, you don't want it. I thought that was just in your. No, wait, hold on. No, you can get it. You have oh, that. Oh, I could pick it up. Okay. Yeah, you can pick I it up know, too. I know how to play this game. <laughs> <laughs> how many rounds do we have? Okay. I haven't watched the drama. Oh, what was though? the question? Let's go back though. I want to answer the question. <laughs> <laughs> what was the question? I'm sorry. Um. Was the question like Bender is the robot, and he, when he wants to like have an alter ego, he puts on the little, the little goatee Magnet. that's what? like magnetic, so it sticks yeah, to his face. No, so, so is this magnetic? What I said. Bond? Can you uh, can you take this on and off? It, you know. <laughs> right here, buddy. Yeah, that's it. Right, right here. <laughs> <laughs> I do not appreciate that at all. <laughs> This is my actual hair. You're a jerk. We're playing wingspan. Why don't you put, just you know we're playing wingspan? This is this is what we're supposed to be doing. I'm hunting. This is definitely in my hair. But I have to focus on my turn because I'm waiting. I'm still waiting so I can talk trash about you. <laughs> you sure you want me on the stream? I do. You asked for it. I do because that was that was really funny. I do. I'm from the server. Yeah, I have I have enough confidence in myself as a host to take the little jives from the peons on the stream like you. So it's fine with me. You can keep talking. I, I don't mean to call you a peon. I just couldn't think of a funnier word than peon at this point. Pigeon? The, the, the cluck? The hens? Yeah, at least you get, get with the program. We'll blue for the booby. Sorry? Call me a blue for the booby. Yeah, call me a booby. <laughs> Juniper Titmouse. <laughs> That's what I'm being right now. <laughs> oh my god, that's on our screen right now. <laughs> <laughs> Call me a booby. Go ahead. Call me a booby. You have to now drop the Juniper Titmouse. I really you cannot yeah. leave, leave the Titmouse there. So this is Wingspan Digital Edition by Stone. Viewers? Are people still watching us? We have purpose? we have three viewers, and this is going to go up on YouTube, and this is going to get shared all over Facebook because we're having fun, and that is a point of board gaming is to I'm have sure fun. I'm, I'm very excited about the fact that we almost have as many viewers as we have players. You know, honestly, we um, had. I think I'm one of the viewers actually because my Facebook is on in the background. That's fine. We'll take it. We'll it's lady bear number is to three. This is great. I love it. You know what's funny is whenever you guys laugh too much, your video stream cuts off. It's really like that's how you know it's a genuine laugh. Because the, the the Discord video can't handle it. <laughs> I see tears. I see tears in Jessica's eyes right now. <laughs> I'm not sure if Jessica actually knows it's her turn. Or if we've been like just making her laugh this entire time. <laughs> <laughs> No idea. Oh man, this is fun. Let's see. Can I? Oh, I totally <laughs> do want that from the birth theater. I mute it for a second. <laughs> I'm very excited about the fact that I've I've secured another another bird of prey to put into my grasslands to stay on theme. Oh, good. Um, instead I'm... of just your all your birds of prey are hunting in the grasslands. Yeah. That's very nice. It sounds like a song, doesn't it? You took the juniper tit, whatever, tit mouth, tit, whatever, <laughs> whatever that was. Yeah. You gotta be careful, you gotta be careful with those Fantastic. tits. You gotta be careful, they just fly away. Gotta grab them. Oh, I got a, a tough nutted tit mouse. Hmm. A tough? Yeah, the tit mouse. Beautiful. Is that what it is? Beautiful. Is, is it a I got a turkey a vulture. Oh. <laughs> Arguably the most ugly bird right. possible. But they're actually yes. remarkably sweet creatures. Are they? Are they? Well, are they really? Is that sweet? Because I'd imagine they would probably not be be very standoffish in real life because they're like vultures. I mean, they might have just been nice to me because oh. they were a little bit like medicated. <laughs> Because I only work with recovering animals. I have a lot of cards in so. my hand. I don't even know what I'm going to do here. 
I was just thinking. I only have one. I have one, two, three, four, five, six, seven cards in my hand. And I'm still drawing well, cards. I'm right losing now. it, Uno. <laughs> <laughs> oh, Luna! I have a California quail. <laughs> Ooh, that sounds pretty. Just throwing that out there. I have a northern shoveler, which you would not expect it to be a bird, but to be a duck, but it is a type of duck. Oh. Oh, you're winning this round too. What? Um, this just got my my true fact about turkey vultures when I played it. What? Turkey vultures can project the vomit to protect themselves, and I was just like, oh dear God, I'm so glad they've never done that to me. Because I would just sit on the floor and cry <laughs> if that happened. <laughs> oh, darn it. I would legit just vomit on somebody to protect myself. <laughs> oh, my <God. laughs> I wish I could vomit on command. That'd be pretty, I have pretty a, cool. I have a story oh. that I could tell that, that is on that topic, but I don't know if it's too gross for the street. I will draw the line at vomit. Cause I'm already feeling it. Like, no, it's not. <laughs> no, please. I don't. I don't know what it is about Bond, but I haven't drank like very often during the since COVID started, and I think I'm on like my fourth glass, and I have a six a.m. presentation tomorrow. So, thanks, Bond. Cheers. Um. I don't. I don't know how this is my fault. I don't know. Like, how did how did that happen? How did I get blamed for this? I blame you for everything. It's okay. That's fine. And during meeting tomorrow, tell them that you were playing a game about birds. And that's why you're late. Like, what's some cool bird facts that I learned last <laughs> night? Turkey vultures, projectile vomit. It'll go over beautifully. And then, after you say that, projectile vomit, like this, I'll show you. And then you do that. Done. Straight. Raise. Promotion. Oh, we are approaching 9.30. Brandon, I do know we have a cutoff that, time. That doesn't work. We do? I have yeah, absolutely have to to... no cutoff time, I'm going to be honest. I do have to go to bed. I'm on summer schedule, so my class tomorrow starts at, at 2 p.m. Oh, wow. <laughs> it's like not even having a class. I mean... Well, I mean, they also go to 10 p.m. But I have... All morning to myself and most of the afternoon I'm gonna oh my lose. god I'm so stupid I just took oh I was just saying that I mean as we approach 10 o'clock it's probably a hooded merganser merganser oh. chicks jump from their cavity nest to the ground when they're just one day old I just played a hooded hooded merganser which I still don't believe is a real word I'm gonna go look at your hooded merganser. Hooded yeah. merganser. But look how cool its head is. Those yeah. feathers actually will like lift up whenever it's alarmed. Uh, you know a lot about birds. It is pretty, it's... pretty insane. That's why we chose this game. Because um, Luna knows a lot I about birds. I am studying biology. Uh, it's, and... not a bad... I, I, it's not a bad thing at all. It is actually My brother really used cool. to work for Audubon for like a year. Um... So he'd send me, like, they have, like, these, like, free seminar things, and I would go to all of them, because one time Jane Goodall talked, and she's, like, my idol, so I went to every single one. So. Yeah, I heard you. Oh, super cool. Yeah, you had to mention the Autobahn before, and I didn't know what that was either. Oh, the Autobahn, their slogan is literally for the birds. Um, they're the big organ organization that actually like tries to protect wetlands for specific bird species and um they do a lot of wildlife rehab for different birds like oh. anything to like if you go for like a go bird watching or something mm -hmm. probably a hike that was organized by audubon like 90 percent of birds diets <laughs> after like like from afar because i'm what you can oh, see that's... well so. Uh, well, you can't touch their food, but you take care of them? No. I wear a lab coat, and then I wear goggles, and then I wear gloves, and then I don't touch anything directly with my own skin. 
Oh, Mike is here saying what's up. What's up, Mike? Hi, Mike. Mike D. Mike D. <laughs> Whoops. I should probably, uh, I should have said that way different. <laughs> <laughs> sorry, Mike. I'm so sorry. That's how it's spelled. Yeah. Um, <laughs> how do I... Maybe I can't. Okay, I was trying to uh, get more food from the food, like, bird feeder. Yeah. So I was in the tree habitat, but I can't, like, activate the habitat. You just click on the, the white so square. I get food from it. Yeah, yeah. It's, it's all great. It's, it's, like, all faded out. It's not letting me. Oh, you know what? I think the round might be over, and that might be what. No, it is your turn. It's showing. That is strange. Do you have to re-roll the dice in the feeder? Uh, only if there's only one food option available, or no dice there. Right. So if there's only one option there for food, then you can choose to re-roll the bird feeder. It is strange though, because I'm seeing it. It'll tell it you. There'll be a grayed out uh, thing. Oh my, my gosh. I I know what the issue was. It was a me problem. <laughs> because I was I was on your birds the whole time. Oh, that's um, hilarious. <laughs> I'm for clarity, I'm not drinking. Hey guys, I have my, just uh, orange juice. My team member. Oops, wait, wait. Oh, Barney. Hi, baby. <laughs> that he does have the sweetest dog. Barney is the one of the sweetest dogs I've ever seen and met. That's funny, Luna. So you were trying to. He's been. Uh... He's been what? Go ahead. Like no, it just it just like the animations startled me. I this is me like just sleepy and not even drunk. Like this is this is just orange juice. There's no <laughs> alcohol in here. <laughs> this so is me sober as well. Is we need to get some booze. I have I have I'm saying that I have no excuse of alcohol for my behavior. Um, it's just me. Oh, alcohol's not an excuse. It's a reason. <laughs> it be I have no attributes. reason for my behavior besides how it is inherently my personality. <laughs> I, am, I choose to be this way with my alcohol. <laughs> I am losing this game by I quite a bit now. Her. So, just for an update for those at home, we are playing two separate games of Wingspan because Wingspan doesn't like all four of us playing together. So we decided to do two games separately. And Luna and I are in a game. And Brandon and Jessica are in a game. I am losing my game by a lot of points. Because Luna is just like the best first place. To, like what is it? The, the best, uh, what's the word I'm thinking of? You know what I'm trying to say. Beginner's luck. Beginner's luck. Beginner's luck? The best beginner's luck player. I am very good at the, like. I I've never played at a casino, but I like I'm waiting until I have some high rolling like friend who has a ton of money because I have such good beginner's luck that I'm just like just one game for every every different game and then I'm out and I'll be a millionaire and then I'll <laughs> never gamble again. But I have like seven dollars. So I haven't <laughs> done that yet. Oh, I can't. Play also, this I just one. got the California Condor again, and they're so pretty. <laughs> and their wingspan is 277 centimeters, which is almost 10 feet. So, they're awesome. They're super 10 awesome. 10 feet? 10 feet? Like, I didn't know anything yeah. about centimeters. 10 the feet? The California Condor is huge. That is ridiculous. So,. Is 30 100 centimeters goes to one meter, and one meter is roughly a yard. There's 30 centimeters. So if you see me, that that's your, uh, that's the or that too. Like, <laughs> most, that's a lot more precise. Yeah. Did you never <laughs> but, have a, a 
metric and fan what is what the hell do they call the stupid American way of doing measurements? Um, Imperial. American uh, standard. Imperial. Imperial. Thank you. Regular. Thank you. Did you never have the the metric and imperial? You're ruler? pushing like I ever like, actually like, had both? tried to memorize the numbers. <laughs> I'm talking about the font. Like. Well, I I refer you to I refer you to uh, Luna's answer. I refer you to Luna's answer because why would anyone yeah. me why would anyone yeah. memorize <laughs> that? Yeah. Why would but anyone like, bother? But like one hundred. <laughs> 100 meter 100 centimeters to a meter and then a, one meter is about a yard is pretty easy to like kind of be able to conceptualize like because most people can go like that's about a yard so if you know something's about a yard you know it's about a meter it's definitely not precise but it's good uh, no i only think in inches and ounces I'm gonna... <laughs> that was such a terrible joke he doesn't get the feet God, jeez, yeah. I'm just, I'm lame. That's all that was. That was just lame right there. <laughs> Embarrassed. Maybe I should drink. Christ. Drink, Bond. Wait. I don't drink on the stream. This is, uh... So, do I... What? Isn't that the whole fun of being on the stream is <laughs> drinking and gaming? No. Do I play the California Condor even though it's not the goal for the round? Yeah, because you're gonna win anyways. Because it's the California Condor. You've got. Uh, if we can, I'll pull up the score real quick. Is it the goal for the next round? Uh, oh. you're winning the next round too. Wait, you can. I don't know how score? to tell where the score is. Oh, so if you look, click on the you very can top the score? right. How do you do that? Yes, so if you click on the top right where the goals are, it tells you that that score. Right, it won't tell you the final score because it uh, does add more stuff to it. But oh, and your total score is at the bottom. Yeah, and your total score is at the bottom. Oh, so no, it does calculate everything else. So, nice. Yeah, um, I'm looking at 15 points not... that Luna is getting just from the round goals, and she's gonna win this round four goal because she's already four ahead of me. So, <laughs> play the Condor. You have nothing. Wait, to you lose. guys are at round four, four already. Yeah, what round are you guys on? So, the fact it was is in the Last 1980s, part. there was only 22 California condors in existence in the wild. So, they actually captured them and then used, like, breeding programs from zoos. That mostly, like, like one of the really big ones is the Oregon Zoo program. Hmm. And now there's, over, there's almost 300 California condors in the wild today. Um, which is really cool because, you know, you go from 22 and they're just like, okay, there's nothing we can do. Like, they're, they're going to be gone. They, um, because they eat roadkill, they were getting a lot of lead poisoning, and they have a lot lower tolerance for lead poisoning than, like, a human, because while their wingspan is huge, their bodies are still a lot smaller than ours, and they're much lighter, you know? So they're, like, 20-ish pounds. Um, right. I'm very passionate about California condors. <laughs> so, um, so. so I'm just curious. Could you imagine being taken away from your, your like, habitat and being forced to get busy with everyone else in your species. I mean, it's a little bit more complex than that. Um, <laughs> so the, the breeding program still had them. Luna, like, you don't have to answer the question. To one area and tag them. <laughs> I will always answer a question. What are you talking about? You really didn't have to answer, answer that. that was Honestly. Crazy. It, like the way that Brandon described it, I imagine like alien UFO abducting Brandon. He's just thinking like, you have to, we're gonna abduct you, like the California condor. <laughs> I actually had to study the documents that they did, like for their breeding program, their proposed breeding program for one of my classes. And it was really fascinating because like, they've never really done something like that before, but they were able to actually like recover the species. So that is pretty amazing. Cool. That is pretty magpie. amazing. I did so hear steal eggs and eat carrion along with the diversity of other foods. Mm -hmm. In New Zealand, they brought back the condors there. No, it was um, different entirely. It, this was oh. a ridiculous bird. <laughs> oh. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> I, I will say this. I guess want to give you guys an update because we were talking about people still watching the stream. We went from two viewers to five. So someone. Boom. It's all my out. condor talk. Bring all... them all in. <laughs> <laughs> Just reeling them in. <laughs> <laughs> uh, 
Hooded Wobbler. Do we know them all? No, I don't. I don't. Let's see. Um, two from Twitch, one on YouTube. Uh, if you guys want to say hey in the chat, uh, we would love to hear from you. California Quail. Why don't you see, like, like, are there birds in this game that we've seen from other states? It seems like California has all the cool birds. Well, like... No one's arrogant enough to name it after their own I state. have the Mississippi you know kite, uh, kite, and that's by the Mississippi. Oh, that's true. Mississippi Kite. Um, I did see that. Mississippi Kite, see. yeah. I don't know what these, like, blue cards are. Like, ologist and platform builder and omnivore expert and visionary leader oh um those are so your just bonus cards randomly picking one yeah those are your bonus cards oh you maybe get... i've been picking good bonus cards i have no idea watch you win the game the one i game. picked said omnivore and i like that word so <laughs> <laughs> that's one way to pick a card i guess <laughs> what do i need eggs and it's working eggs. so far <laughs> I wouldn't. I wouldn't argue with that. That you're right. But you need eggs in those birds. Oh. And well, should I have another turn? Oh, wait, it's the first. Okay, first turn of the round. Got it. Got it. Are you, what round are you guys on? No worries. Oh, take your time. I'm gonna go get another beer in a second. We're on round. We just started round four. Yeah. I want a drink. You guys are making me want a drink now. <laughs> also, I wanted to, I wanted to bring up earlier because it was really relevant and not. And I have a pet bird named Leviosa. <gasps> Leviosa. That's awesome. What? That's the spell Leviosa. for flying. Don't even bother oh wasting your time. God. Don't even bother wasting That's your time really explaining cool. this to him. <laughs> it's cool. That's it's all that matters. Cool. It's cool. No, it is cool. That is cool. <laughs> that is cool. <laughs> <laughs> you are. A, a giant nerd like like we are i would also and like to really point cool. out that those these little pillows back here that's my band my marching band uniform from high school um because they had to do a fundraiser to get new marching band uniforms so they turned it into pillows <laughs> and i i bought them for part of the fundraiser so like I nerd for life <laughs> Wait, i can't I, say, I only have one turn, turn. a marching a band round, uniform pillow turn. That is, well, that's on the list of nerdy <laughs> things. So, that, so on the right, the number of cubes shows I only have one versus four. I'm not trying to hide it. That's I know what I am. Cubes. That's pretty cool. <laughs> I have to admit, How that is, is that pretty possible? cool. How many cubes five. do you show? You show five cubes, I show one cube. Five. I show one. That's weird. And it still says that you're in the fourth round? It says I'm in the fourth round, but I have one cube, so... Just in that case this possible. is actually my last turn, I'm going to do this one. What are you doing one. over there? Oh, there it goes. Okay, now I've, got, now I've got four. It went back to four. Not my Jeez. fault. This Getting game... and taking all your turns at once. Not my fault this game glit is glitchy. I have a lot of egg eggs right now. Because I don't know, when I don't know what to do, I just lay eggs on the birds. So there's more Laying birds in the future. Laying eggs is a short <laughs> that point. Oh, so, yeah. is that why I've been winning? Thing. Yeah, that laying eggs is, is very good. <laughs> so just, every time I don't know what, I'm to, what to do, I just lay eggs on all the birds. Because I'm like, yay, more birds! And you know what? All our goals have to do with eggs. So, yeah, that okay. was, that's a very good, that's a good I job. I can get behind that. Yeah. I'm actually trying to catch up to you right now so I can try to do something here because I've got oh, no. no points whatsoever. And this is going to be the second to last turn of the game. Lay oh, on okay, the current so... bird. Yes. So second to last turn I should probably like I could play my duck because I haven't played him yet. You can play your duck. So yeah I think this is going to be your last turn because I think uh, is it? I don't know. You tell me. Could be more. We'll see. How come? Oh, whoops! I read that wrong. Uh, 
Oh, man. You know, just since we're still streaming, I just want to say thank you all who've been watching. And I do want to thank Brandon, Jessica, and Luna for bearing with me. Oh, my God. In the beginning, this was supposed to be such a flawless game. We were just going <laughs> to jump in the game and start playing. And it just didn't work out. But we still had fun. And that's what's important. And eventually, I'll figure yeah, out how to do this. Yeah, it's a fun game. Do you like it? It's not your fault the server didn't work. Yeah, I do like it. Yeah. I'm liking that we actually did get ah. to do some multiplayer, too. Okay. Yeah. Small bird, what small bird. What were you going to say, Jessica? Ooh. trying to chat with us and I don't I told him I couldn't see him but what my computer allows me to do versus what you're doing. Mike uh, when we're done with the screen then yes but I'm afraid to click on anything just because I mean I don't know if you, I can see it on my end that everyone kind of keeps cutting out so I don't want to mess with it right now and I have everything yeah we can't do it right now can't do it because he's talking about the discord chat room that we're in because it's private so no one comes in, and it will change the layout. And if it changes the layout, then it changes everyone's image, if that makes sense. You, you don't have to explain it to me. I switch to a different device to be able to do it. Oh, OK. <laughs> oh, my my dog woke up. He's finally going to help me be a team player. <laughs> <laughs> you mean he's going to help you beat, beat Bond even worse? Hey, I guess we I won mean, this last I round. I fed him dinner right before the stream, so he just had to take his after dinner nap. I I was too focused on the condor. I wasn't. <laughs> I wasn't paying attention to the rest. Well, our game is ending between Luna nice. and I. We've got three turns left each, or two turns left each. Three turns left each. I think it's oh, Ooh. seven total turns. I hear us talking in the background. That's really distracting. Why did it? Why did the video turn on? Oh, the echoing. So oh, just, you can only Luna, see the side of my head. That's weird. Luna has won by six points. Uh, what was the I final score? The, sixty to uh, sixty-six. Sixty to sixty-six. Okay. We were actually pretty close there. Yeah, a lot closer than. Good on, was this the purple one? The tucked cards. Yeah. You like you have a really big margin there. Yeah, if I would have, like, so... Um, I also love the fact that my picture is, is a pigeon that's seen better days. Yeah, um, he has a, like, a gold chain. Like it's been through some... <laughs> it has a gold chain, and I think it's got a neckerchief. Um, yeah, I think so, but too. But it also has, like, a half-swollen eye, and its tongue is hanging out, and it just looks like it's maybe been dragged behind a car for a while. Like, Man, that pigeon's seen some wear. It's seen some better days. <laughs> <laughs> All right, guys. Wear and tear around the edges. We're going to go ahead and end this live stream. I want to thank you all for watching. I want to thank my guests, Brandon, Jessica, and Luna. This is EC Bond from The Gamery. Have a good night.